Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a row to a data frame in R. So um, there may be times when you want to update a data set by adding in an extra value. It could be updated data, it could be a value that's missing. Uh, many reasons why you would like to add another row to your data frame. So we're going to do a very simple one here. I have a data file, it's called a 60 underscore data file dot CSV. Uh, this CSV file plus all CSV files used in this series of videos and R scripts are all available in my GitHub and you'll find a link to that GitHub on the information section in beneath the video on the YouTube page. So let me first of all take a look at that file. I have it here in Excel. So it, what this is, it's actually real data. These are data taken from the 1st to the 10th of April 2021 uh, at the high temperature in degrees Celsius and the low temperature degrees Celsius and the conditions uh, for the city of Dublin in Ireland where I live. So this is real data. And what I want to be able to do is, let's say I want to do something very, very simple to add in and underneath here on line 12, data for the 11th of April. So first of all, let me read in that file. So line number four, run this and print it out to display what the, what the weather data look like. So I've read in the file, I'm storing it in a vector call or, or in a data frame called weather and I'm just displaying that and we can see the same data as we saw in the Excel spreadsheet. So I want to add in data for the 11th of April. So I've got this stored on my clipboard, so let me paste this in. So I want to add data for the next day. So that means uh, we can see, look at the variable names very, very carefully here in the output. We can see that the date we want to add in is for the 11th of April. The high temperature is going to be eight, the low temperature is going to be two, and the conditions on, that, on the 11th of April were that it was raining. So what I, the tactical approach I'm going to do here is I have one data frame with 10 rows in it already in existence. That's the one you see in the console. So I'm going to create a new data frame uh, for just this day, the 11th of April on its own, and then I'm going to combine the two. So first of all, let's create the new data frame. So I'm going to call this new data frame, I'm just going to call it new row. I'm going to assign it using the data frame function, D-A-D-T-A, dot frame and opening and closing brackets. Now, what we do is we simply pass it values for each of the variable names that we see in our output down here. So they must be spelt exactly. So we can see the first column is called date. So I'm just pointing, putting in date here. We don't need inverted commas around this. What we do need, and we assign it a value here of uh, in text 11 dash APR for April dash 2021. I'm sticking with the same format that we have in the outputs. A comma, and I'm going to move to the next line. I don't need to, but I'm just moving to the next line for readability here. We can see that the next column is called high.temp to represent a high temperature. So using the exact same spelling and the full stop, high temp. Remember the full stop is put there because in our CV we had blank spaces, so it would have been high blank temp. And here we can see in our comments above that the high temperature on line nine uh, that particular day on the 11th of April was eight degrees Celsius. So if type in eight, we can see the color coding changing there. And the same for low temp, we can see in the output below in the console that it's low dot temp. So let's type that out, low dot T-E-M-P. And that on the day we can see above was two degrees. And then finally on the 11th of April, the conditions. So we type in conditions ex uh, spelt exactly as they are in our variable. Um, conditions in the output is equal to, and again, we need inverted commas here because it's, this is a piece of text. So it's equal to rain. All right, so quick check here. We're creating a new data frame called new row, assigning it using the data frame. I need to take out one of those dots, data dot frame uh, function, and to assign these four values because we have four values in our existing data frame. So let me run this, and I'm going to print out my new row which is a, a data frame with just one line in it. So if I print that out, we can see, we can check our values, the date, 11th of April, high temperature was eight, low temperature was two, conditions were rain. So now I have two data frames. So the tactic is now to combine the, so we're gonna do this using a binding function called rbind. So let me move on to another row. So. Uh, I'm going to now add this to my, I want to add the new row data frame to the weather data frame. So I'm going to reassign the weather data frame and using the rbind function, 
open and close brackets. And don't forget at any time, I have it open here in the uh, help section of our studio. You can get help about uh, uh, all functions. And here we can see, uh, we can get information about how the R bind function is used. So it's always worthwhile checking out that, especially when you're using them for the first time. So I want to co combine my two data frames. The first one is called weather, as we know, and the second one is called new row. Now the, or the order is important here. So we want to have weather first, that's the original data frame, which is 10 values, comma, and then new row, which is the original value, which has just one line. So when I run these together, okay, and then print out weather again, run this piece of code on line 20, we can see that the date for the 11th of April has now been added in to the end of our data set. If we did it the other way around, put new row first and weather second, we would put the 11th of April at the top of the data set and that just wouldn't make sense. So be careful with the order that you need to do things in here. We can also check the line on its own. So I can do weather, um, square brackets, rows first, column second. So 11, row number 11, leaving the column blank and I can display that particular row on its own. So now it's part of our data set. Uh, it's now part of our new row and um, our new data frame, should I say, and we can add in other values. So for example, we could do this, uh, you know, on a daily basis, set a routine to do this on a daily basis that would add in today's figures or yesterday's figures to the existing data set. And um, the data that were taken here, by the way, were, were sourced from weather.com. So that's how you add a row to a data frame in uh, R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.